Hi kids, welcome to this magical story called Cartouche. Far, far away in the middle of a crystal sea was a wonderful little island called Serendipity. High in the mountains of this magical island, nestled in a comfy corner of the forest, lived tiny creatures called furry eyefalls. The furry eyefalls were chubby little creatures covered from head to foot with soft fuzzy hair and two of the largest eyes you have ever seen. They needed their large eyes in order to see all that they could see on the island of Serendipity. For you see, the furry eyefalls loved to watch everything and there was a lot of everything to watch. They spend their days walking the many trails of the island, looking for things to see. With their eyes open wide, they would look from side to side, afraid that something would happen over there while they were looking the other way. One of their most favourite things to watch was the dazzling colour of the sky as the sun set on the west side of Crystal Mountain. The furry eyefalls were known to sit on the beach and stare at their mirrored reflections in the lake for hours and hours. Their vigil would be rewarded when a fish flashed to the surface, making ripples on the water. The eyefalls would laugh and laugh as their reflections danced about the lake. In the evening time, as the forest was wrapped in velvet darkness, they would carefully gather twigs and sticks with which to make a fire. As the night settled about them, they would gaze at the stars in the sky or simply watch the dying embers of their fire. Beauty was all around them and they never missed seeing anything. But even with furry eyefalls, there were problems. For you see, the eyefalls were so afraid of not seeing something that was beautiful that they never closed their eyes and never went to sleep. Now, without sleep, the furry eyefalls became grouchy and grouchier. You know as well as I do that if you don't get some sleep, you can become awfully cranky and sometimes downright mean. At least once a day, one of the furry eyefalls who wasn't looking where he was going would bump into another eyeful. Before you could say furry eyeful four times, there would be a fluffy pie of fuzzy fluffies all grumbling and mumbling at each other and nobody saying I'm sorry. Well, things might have gone on like this forever had it not been for one small eyeful who stopped to watch an emerald green snake who was wrapped around the stem of a flower. All the other furry eyefalls crowded around the stem to see what he was looking at. They bustled and shoved and grumbled and growled at each other as the beautiful little snake wound softly to the top of the flower. Who's there? he asked quietly as his tongue flicked gently about and tasted the air. Would you look at that? said one of the eyefalls. That snake is blind. Words of pity rang out from the furry eyefalls. He's blind, he can't see, and oh, you poor, poor snake. Well, said the snake, my name is Kautush, and I would hardly call myself poor. But you must be poor, one of them said, for you cannot see all the riches of the beautiful forest. Ah, said Kautush, beauty is not just in seeing things, it is also in touching and hearing things. And with that, Kautush listened very quietly and heard the beautiful forest growing in the warm, sweet, scented air. Well, the fairy eyefalls were not to be outdone by a green snake, so they began listening very carefully to hear this beauty. But once again, somebody slipped, or maybe he was pushed. And the grumbling and mumbling started all over again. Listening to bickers and grumbles, Kartush laughed. You call me poor, for I cannot see. Yet you must be poorer still, for you cannot hear. Oh, yes, we can, they said. Just listen to this. And with that, they tried with all their might to listen to the beauty around them. But somebody coughed, somebody sneezed, and then somebody banged somebody on the knees. And then all began grumbling and mumbling again. It is no use, said one of the eyefalls. We will never be able to listen. We're just too cranky. 
None of us ever gets any sleep because we're afraid we might miss seeing something beautiful. And because we don't get any sleep, we're grumbly. And because we're grumbly, we'll never get to hear anything beautiful. Kertush smiled a secret smile and slid down the flower to the grass below and slithered up onto a mushroom. Gather around, he whispered, and I shall teach you how to listen. All of the furry eyefuls crowded about, trying to get close to the emerald snake. Now all of you, said Kertush, sit very quietly and slowly close your eyes. The eyefuls quickly sat down on the grass, and after squirming around, they all, one by one, began to close their eyes and listen. I can hear it, exclaimed one. I can hear something beautiful. Sure enough, in the distance, each one of them began to hear the soft, muted sounds of an evening cricket playing his nightly serenade. Keep listening, said Kautush, and not only will you hear wondrous things around you, but in your mind you will dream of all the beauty you have seen today. Slowly, one by one, the Eiffels gently fell asleep as the musical sounds of the evening wove their dreamlike spell. Kautush listened to the soft sounds of the night around him and whispered, I may not have eyes, but I can easily see all that I need to see when I listen with my mind. And with that, he too fell fast asleep. When you lie upon your bed, the day is done, all is said. Close your eyes so very tight and watch your dreams all through the night. Good night.